Three, two, one, fight point to begin. Oh, trail already? All right. We're a tribe of warriors. In ancient times, we were responsible for patrolling and defending Whoa. all of Catlin. Whoa, hey, where's that? Is that? Are we getting a new area? So Ultracon still managing to oh, shit. Discord. That's Chaska's tribe, right? If you want to resolve yeah. a conflict through dialogue, sometimes you need a third Damn, party. Damn, this music though. She has a bike. At this time Hello. And place, I'll bet the easiest a rocket? To find what? Is. Oh yeah, right. You should be getting the other three tribes or something, right? Aurora, my boy. Yes. And Granny won't let me. What the heck? What are those creatures? <laughs> oh, 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 I think we're also getting new uh, years later, creatures too, right? Surfaced again. Capitano, hey, please tell me you're playable. <laughs> I worry that we risk repeating the mistakes of the Cinder City. The Cinder City. As long as the soul is involved, I should be able to help. What is that, boss? Be free. What? Oh, don't you dare mimic Mago Kenki. Oh, is it like a mimic boss? Oh, it fucking is. That's annoying. <laughs> Time to say hello. I can already see myself getting frustrated at this yet. guy. Oh my god, he's fuck her rocket shoots as well. It's either your end or mine. Before the final moment truly arrives, we must fight harder than ever. Tapestry of spirit and flame. <laughs> Holy shit, that was, a, that was a lot going on in that trailer. Holy shit. Oh, she has a flying gun. That's what it is. She learned and said it in her voice line? Oh, I didn't even realize. Damn. Yeah, I don't think we're getting AI... Uh, or not, not AI. We're not getting any English VAs for the special program. But it, from what it sounds like, it sounds like at least Chaska and... Uh, Capitano, the rest will be voiced. Hopefully. Like, in the quest, I mean. I'm not sure about Kinich and, uh, yeah, Kachina, though. Maybe maybe they'll be still unvoiced. Although, then again, will they play a role in this quest? Because this involving, like, the, uh... Like, the Night Kingdom stuff and whatnot, right? So, I wonder if they would be involved. Anyways, there's your first Redemption Code, folks. So, yep, I typed it up in the chat right there, so... Be sure to copy and paste before they expire. In, like, 12 hours. Yeah, is that, if that's her ultimate, like her flying gun just finishing off the enemy, that'd hey, be travelers, pretty sick. Welcome to the Genshin Impact Yo, our boys again. special program. I'm Gabe from the Loke team. And I'm Kai. We meet again. Gabe and Kai, Whoa, welcome back. <laughs> Want to join us? Hey, 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 don't be shy. Come out and say hello. Wait, do we finally get to become the birds now? <laughs> I'm not sure what that meant, but it was so adorable. She Aww. approves of your compliment. Hey, I didn't know you could speak Saurian. <laughs> oh, I can't. But I can make an educated guess based on her body language. <laughs> Whoa, are all Kukusors as friendly as this one? Adult Kukusors are usually very proud creatures. All right, that's, that's what they call Kukusors. <laughs> well, a funny since name. our Kukusor friend kicked things off for us, I know so, just yeah, we should the be getting place the, to the start. Masses of Night the Wind and also Chaska's people. All I forgot right, what their tribe's it. called. Kukusors live among the, the flower, flower feather, feather clan, yeah. clan, which is suspended high above the mountains. This is a tribe wow, of warriors, beautiful. <laughs> and most of their people can command the power of the skies. It was the Flower Feather Clan's ancient hey, isn't duty that, to patrol and uh, safeguard what's his the name? entire region of Aurora's friend's place. As elite special forces, their job was to detect threats, disseminate intel, God, like, look at that and quickly scenery. neutralize oh my God. any dangers to the nation. Though the circumstances are different now, the tribe never forgot its origin. All the houses they just still hold flying to assemble the fastest teams in the tribe. I'd be scared shitless the in that case. Oh my god, they're, they're fucking the skydiving. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped about these Kukasaurs. <laughs> what yeah, the hell? Kukasaurs are the proudest out of all the Ifa, that's his name, yeah. They know that they're the kings of the sky. Kukasaurs can consume flagitions. Yo, we can, we we can become birds now. A horizontal roll in midair. Holding the sprint button allows them to enter an accelerated glide state after a horizontal roll. In addition, they can even use phlogiston wind tunnels to quickly cover great distances. Okay, okay, that's so gonna be fun. That cuckoo are really hard to tame. Yeah, that's true. 
you need to prove yourself in some worthwhile feat, like demonstrating exceptional archery skill during flight. That's the only way to become a true Kukusor rider. Wow, that's so strict. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. But okay, now that we've got a glimpse of the Flower Feather Clan, it's time for a quiz. What? Already? Uh. <laughs> yep, I hope you're prepared. Every tribe in that land has a unique way of communicating with their Saurian companions. Oh, how am I supposed to know the this? Members of the Flower Feather <laughs> Clan use a special item to summon their Kukusors. What is that item? Um, yeah, uh, I didn't read the, uh, much of the lore per se, so I'm not sure. Favorite foods? Here's a hint. We just Although I'm not even sure that's in the, the lore. Video. <laughs> oh, I, I, I remember now. Uh, horn. Ding, ding, ding. Cuckoo oh, live course. far from the tribe and from each other. So in order to summon them, the tribe's people use whistles and horns to produce loud noises. Wait, so, so do we have one? Of Can we just call one Maybe whenever they we sound want? a little unapproachable compared to other Saurians, but don't worry, travelers. If you get into a tough situation, then Chaska, the Flower Feather Clan. <laughs> oh, she can call them. I probably can help mediate the conflict. Yeah. Knitch mentioned that her. I want to see what her skills do. Like, what was that freaking ult with a flying gun? <laughs> How do you see that stuff again? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only in special cases. Most of the time, <laughs> Chaska barely needs to intervene. Everyone knows what she's capable of, so people usually find a way to set aside their differences when she shows up. Oh, <laughs> so she doesn't just handle conflicts between humans and Saurians. She keeps the peace between people, too. Exactly. Chaska was corrupted by abyssal power as a child, so she has All right. a strong compulsion to fight, but she knows how to rein it in. Right. I Most of the time, unless you kill her sister. Baby, it seems like she's been through a lot. With the Kuichi. Yeah, but luckily for her, the Kukusors took her in and raised her as one of their own. In addition to hunting and flying, Chaska gained a lot of unique combat experience from her Saurian childhood. When Chaska is in your party, defeating uh. monsters will restore Phlogiston to your party. Oh! While she's in the Night Soul's Blessing State, That's nice. Chaska can ride and control her gun. Oh my like god, she Kukusor. rides her gun like a bike. The Soul Sniper That's doesn't sick. just increase her the movement Soul Sniper? Speed That's what it's called? Interruption. <laughs> It also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies. What? Wow, that mid-air perspective. She, she just kind of like so just power cool. creep wanderer. It seems so liberating. You yeah. can just fly forever. Oh, she's a bow she user, obviously. Herself. Yeah. In the Night Soul's blessing state, Chaska's normal attacks deal animo damage to enemies you could just... in front of her. Okay, wow. A charged attack in this state what? will cause Chaska to enter a special aiming mode. This allows her to lock on to a that set is number sick. of enemies within range. <laughs> And fire up to six. Yeah, I feel like you just power creep the hell out of Wanderer. <laughs> upon impact. In addition, for every pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro character oh, in your party, oh, you get their elements in your bullets. Shells will undergo an elemental conversion to deal the corresponding cool. type of <gasps> elemental damage. Whoa, no way! So Chaska can directly deal other types of elemental damage based Fuck, on the that's actually kind of busted. Party. And since she's an animal character, she can swirl them at the same time. That's awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Her elemental Oh yeah, big has a gun attack. Chaska fires a gale splitting soul seeker shell during her burst, which deals animo damage. The attack then splits into six soul seeker shells, which continue to attack nearby enemies. These okay, shells that's actually also really really sick. Elemental conversions. That's so cool. No yeah, her her kit seems pretty simple for the most part, in her but really, really fun to play. Tribe, the warriors from the Flower Feather Clan are <laughs> of course she's having her own sure, tribe quests, but obviously. We also, shed some light on those who aren't as skilled. Oh, are you talking about the wingless? That's what the tribe costs people who fail the flight trials, right? Mm -hmm. They're the challengers who fail to earn the recognition of a Kukosaur. Exactly. Oh. But the name doesn't indicate that those people are weak or deserve to be cast aside. The Flower Feather yes. Clan has its own definition of strength. There's a tacit understanding that the wingless are supposed to be. So pretty much, it, yeah, these quests are essentially story quests. But, that but assumption for each is character of a tribe. In tribal Chronicles Tlalocan, someone will dare to. So ask, yeah, it's essentially Chaska story quest. Need a cuckoo to fly. <laughs> but in if three we parts. Change the rules, then maybe there wouldn't be any wingless to begin with. Now, whether that's the right path is for us to discover. Chaska will also be there to help us find the answer. So, be sure to check out Chaska's Tribal Chronicle if you're interested in what happens. Is there anything else that you can tell us? Hmm. 
Ah, remember how I mentioned that Chaska was raised by Kukusaurus? Yeah, tell oh, us yeah. about it. <laughs> how does Her that work? Starian mother will make an appearance in this quest. What? <laughs> Even though she's joined human society, Chaska still goes to visit her Sarian mother on occasion. Especially when she needs. Okay, some that's help gonna be kind of weird. Situation. Oh, we're calling the so bird. Jessica still has her mom. a soft side, even though she's a fearsome warrior. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm looking forward to this quest now. Yep, for the Arcan Archon Quest Act Five. Quest, chapter Five Interlude. All fires fuel the flame. The tribe. I'm guessing we're not gonna get a roll on quest then because the he's not a five star, huh? A that's probably when Zilati what comes out. Of we're gonna get the well, tribe the quest. Flower Feather Clan suffered the worst of the abyssal contamination. Interlude. Fire fuels all the flames. Wait, interlude. It's not just the human body that can't withstand high concentrations of abyssal power. For most people, it also damages the mind. Many members of the Flower Feather Clan are suffering from the mental repercussions of the abyss. Uh. The tribe is in. Whoa! Who the fuck is this make. guy? Ian-san will be there too. <laughs> Who is Actually Cowboy Al Hate them over here? <laughs> the collective of plenty. She's traveling around Natland to help those in need. The people of Natland really value unity, don't they? No one fights alone. Right. That's one of my favorite yeah, What happened to us uh, joining? Oh, wait. Oh. It looks like the captain will also be there. Yes, the captain will captain also my captain. offer help to the tribe. <laughs> You may pick up on some interesting information if you. Is he just gonna wa to just walk into like say. whatever tribe he, the captain he just rarely wants to? Gives away too much information in his regular interactions, <laughs> but his secrecy here seems a little peculiar. So hmm. keep an eye out. But of course, restoring Natland's fighting spirit remains the top priority. After all, yeah, I thought the we're war isn't the next yet. quest is gonna involve us joining uh, is still around, Maui to we like have a very important battle ahead. seething the uh, Night Kingdom or something like that. More than ever before, the Flower Feather Clan is pretty close. I guess to the we of have the a quest like deal with the aftermath of the war, Thomas right? Lip, yeah, that tribe could be another good place to recover from the battle. Oh yeah, let's check it out. If you head west from the Stadium of the oh. Sacred Flame and go past the Towering Walls. You eventually arrive at the settlement of the mysterious Masters of the Masters Night. Masters of Nightwind, yeah. The tribal settlement offers a unique glowing landscape at night. Wow, that looks if beautiful, you actually. Even further, then you might <laughs> encounter the tribe's Wath Ectomisor Elder or one of the many shamans who can communicate with spirits. That is I so adorable, that actually. The They're like owls there with like help hands. Pause. <laughs> Plus, the graffiti art is That's really absolutely adorable. Incredible. In fact, there's something special the about bad people. This one. Oh yeah, they are kind of like bats. Out, <laughs> hmm. It's kind of tricky, right? Well, don't worry. The Ectomisors can help us out. Oh my god. <laughs> Ectomisors are known for their wisdom. They can use their unique sight to detect things that can't be seen through normal mains. Whoa, okay. Right. Ectomisors are especially I think I found my new favorite Saurian. <laughs> and phlogiston. They can absorb power from phlogiston objects to enhance their abilities. Now look at how tiny Doing their wings so are. Them to jump higher, move faster, or even obtain surprising rewards. Ectomisors can also extract information from graffiti art to create special objects. What the oh, hell? <laughs> I bet that'll come in handy for solving puzzles. Definitely, especially pop, pop in all Tribal these Chronicles Mictland, which will become available in version 5.2, the first two acts feature a lot of intriguing puzzles. Oh. So be sure to and check them out, And then I guess in Act 3, that's going to be when T. Lottie comes into the picture, right? An Iktomisaur, and others can be solved on your own. I noticed that Iktomisaurs can perform fast-paced jumps when they have enough phlogiston, and it looks like so much fun. Do we know anyone who can use that ability? Besides the new Saurian, I mean. Yes, uh, Aurora. Aurora yep. can do it too. Like the Ictomosaurus, Aurora has cool. the ability to rise into oh the air. Oh my god, you can shoot from he the sky, yo! <laughs> sense of perception. While charging an aimed shot, Aurora will enter the spirit speaker state, allowing him to extract power from Natlands graffiti and runes. Oh, of Aurora, I was honestly okay. super surprised by his personality. Before the 5.1 Archon quest, I thought that he looked like a stern, stoic, and harsh type of character. But <laughs> and now we know he's out, just a bit of a... He's just a sweet kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of I'm not a kid at that, that right? Say, Lottie loves scolding. Is he really that sweet, though? <laughs> just to think about all the sneaking around behind his granny's back. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. The tribe's people of the yeah, it seems like 5.3 is going to be Act 6, where we'll get the, like, the true ending but to the really entire Natlan arc. The next level. Yeah, it sounds like he does things his own yeah, way. Yeah, sweet kid who loves his veggies a bit too much. I wonder if that extends to his combat abilities. It does. Aurora is a bit different from oh, here the we go. Gameplay. characters we've met so far. 
Oh, he's he a little squirrel on him. On the night soul's blessing state to gain night soul points, and he can maintain the night soul's blessing state even while he's off field. Oh, I gave him a berry and everything. Ah, that that's that's cute. That's different from the other Natland characters. So, how do his abilities work? Let me start by explaining how Auroran gains night soul points. This can happen in multiple ways. For example, Auroran can gain night soul points when one of his party members triggers a night soul burst. Oh, okay. He can also gain them when other party members deal hydro or electro attacks to enemies uh. after Auroran unleashes his elemental skill. Oh. oh! Then it sounds like he works well with hydro and electro characters. <laughs> so yep. he's an. Oh, and yeah, I think I've heard this before, but he's an electro charge from GPS, electro right? Charged reactions or other party members deal night soul aligned damage. Auroran can consume Night Soul points to enter the Night Soul's blessing state and trigger the Hypersense effect, dealing electro damage. Okay. Oh, I see. So you need to pair him with the right characters if you want him to gain Night Soul points, enter the Night Soul's blessing state, and trigger the effect. Exactly. Oh, so is he so like electro charge only, like how Shepard says, like to overload on only? Field to trigger the Hypersense effect. Huh. Wait, he can trigger it even while he's off field? That sounds really useful. Totally. His elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal damage and- Whoa, that is- this has burst? Auroran performs an ancient reach roll with his burst to summon a supersonic oculus. That is cool looking. nearby enemies to draw them in. Once oh, pulls them in too? The oculus releases a sound wave- Oh no, it taunts. I, yeah, it taunts. That should be great for crowd control. Yes. With Auroran in your God, party, just the fact that you can shoot from the sky as well is actually pretty sick. Although, I kind of hate that you- easier. It seems like you can't aim directly below you. Easier, Auroran can also improve the exploration experience by boosting the gliding speed of your characters. Oh, gliding awesome. speed? Auroran Yo, really I'm about to use them like all the time now. With a little teamwork on his side, I'm sure victory will always be within reach. Cool. So oh, yeah, but also a new area. Yeah, Auroran seems fun to play. In this update, the Flower Feather Clan and the Masters of the Nightwind. But there's more. Yeah, definitely gonna try and Version build them like once he's out. Actually introduces another new region. It's called Ochkanatlan. Oh, I think we caught a glimpse of this ancient city when we were looking at the mm. Flower Feather Clan. It's what really the hell is this place? Far away, <laughs> but those clouds look kind of ominous. Yeah, this looks, looks creepy looks more than cool. <gasps> is it dangerous? Yes. This is a is it dangerous? area in that land. <laughs> I don't know. Due to its <laughs> this doesn't look dangerous at all to me. <laughs> and it seems uninhabited. Over the years, many adventurers have come here in search Whoa. of treasure or to slay Pull the, the sword out of the ground. Unfortunately, <laughs> none of them have ever returned. The Flower Feather Clan often sends riders to patrol the area and to prevent people from getting too close. Wait, did you say slay the dragon? Yeah. Huh. I know we introduced some adorable Saurians earlier, but this creature oh, is shit. actually really terrifying. Oh. It occupies this ancient city and guards it fiercely. If it detects an intruder, oh, then it fuck. will attack without hesitation. Okay, okay so that's pretty concerning. Jeez, it's easy it's like to the take trying to fucking kill us at every opportunity. For granted these days, but it actually took generations of effort to reach this point. Damn, this relationship wasn't nearly so harmonious in the ancient past. Travelers will need to explore Ochkanat land to uncover the reason behind this dragon's rampage. Hmm. Of course, that sounds fun. travelers won't have to do this alone. Here, take a look. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what the this hell? This is a very important companion who will help us explore Ochkanat land. Who is Ochkanat this little bean? His name is Kokoe. As for his power, Coco well, Bean, why don't you take a guess? Okay, uh, is he our moral support? You know, maybe he could make a cute noise every now and then to cheer us up. Hey, let's not put our Tapetla sore friend out of a job. Little one works really hard. Okay, then I've got nothing. Remember how I mentioned that Oshkanatlan is heavily corroded by the abyss? Yeah. Well, that's where Coco Week Oh, he cleanses that stuff? We can use his power to clear abyssal contamination. Follow the direction indicated by his light to collect secret source scraps and oh, enhance okay. his power. Once Kokoeek has enough power, you can take him to track down the evil dragon. Oh my god, and you kill him with a little guy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what the heck? Now travelers can explore Ochkanatlan with two companions, Kokoeek and Little One. In fact, I've heard there's even a special oh token around here that can enable Little One there's to so many the little, little baby saurians here. A new adventure with Little One awaits in version 5.2. This update will bring us stacked, one step I'm not gonna lie. to uncover really, really the good. mysteries of Little One's past. Familiar I say stacked, but we've only seen the Arkham Quest and the character so far. 
For example, they haven't got to events yet. Holosaur, we can evade source mechanism attacks. Oh, what the heck? With the help of an Ikitomisaur, we can solve certain puzzles. With the help of a Kukusaur, we might okay, seems like this be whole able to chase just down the evil dragon. But we'll leave the rest for you to discover, travelers. Wait, are, are those some kind of lava fish? Does this what the mean heck? we can fish in Netland? Yes. Oh god, fishing. I've got some friendly advice, travelers. You should be very careful while exploring Ochka Netland. Some of the abyssal monsters here can destroy oh, there's their a war boss. to mimic powerful enemies. High-level monsters such as the Tenebrous Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got a copycat boss, essentially. Plants outside of combat. Uh, I'm not usually a fan true. of these ones. The Abyss has corroded Natland's ley lines, allowing these monsters to read the memories inside of them and mimic creatures from Tevat. How do we defeat them? Travelers will need to use elemental attacks to break the enemy's protective void wards. Okay. Doing so allows them to take damage. Oh, that's a bar on there. Causes them to enter a brief state on top of their heads. Fusion. Okay. And soul aligned elemental attacks are especially effective against these wards. Wow, the abyss has got And yep, of course, so they're the war advanced. boss, which I. It's scary to think about for both how much and Roron, right? will get if these abyssal monsters continue to evolve. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That was a Let's lot of information to take in at once. Bond monster. But before we Not take sure our is. first break, we still have a couple of short announcements. Really short, I promise. Yep. First up, limited time expiration oh, rewards yay. will be available stuff. in version 5.2. Just like in version 5.1, you get primo gems for exploring. Up to 400 extra primo gems. Stuff for all the, the Twitch chats, by the way. They're the really way annoying. Version 5.3. It's now time to introduce the event wishes. In the first half of version oh. 5.2, oh, hey, Lenny can okay. look forward to event wishes and Aurora from Chaska's banner. And Ooh. Auroran will also receive a drop rate boost. Mm. And in the second half of version 5.2, we'll have okay. a returning Just event wishes for right the bat. and Nubilet. <laughs> the weapon banner will feature a new 5-star bow. Jolie and Nubilet, are you kidding me? And two new Netland-specific 4-star weapons. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. Oh my god, Risley right. and it's Shenha and Ganyu are never, are never are never getting rerun we'll ever. Right into the event portion. Jeez. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna keep the cryo five stars just on lock until fucking Shneshnaya. Where they'll actually like, I don't know, pair well with the cryo archon or some shit. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of unreal that those three have not been rerun in a good while. Like, at this point, we need, like, triple reruns. God damn, though, the fucking dragon bros, yeah. <laughs> the dragon boys. Well, see if there's your redemption code, folks. Copy, paste, and uh, redeem that code before it expires. If that's the case, then yeah, I I, I am going to be pulling on Chaska's banner then. At least I'll try to at least get Aurora on. But I think I will try and, like, aim for Chaska on my uh, alt account, though, if I don't get her on my main. God, yeah, the area looks so sick, honestly. Hawk Shen is going to be in Hawkeye Star before she gets an actual rerun. I hate that you're somewhat right. <laughs> like, Shenna's gonna get rerun in a, in a different game before she gets actually rerun in the... Welcome back, travelers. In Genshin Welcome itself. Back. Let's dive straight into the event Hey, free section. four-star sword, so yo. in the first event, we'll get to learn more about Wait, the sword. masters of the Nightwind. That's Wait, why not right. a bow? In the version 5.2 event, what? Tomi Spirit Seeking Scrolls, travelers will team up with Sitlali and Auroran to get to the bottom of a mysterious accident that occurred within their tribe. No. Travelers will need to complete combat challenges. Yeah, I thought these were <laughs> these events usually give FTP weapons for the current the banner characters, but I guess not. Not this time. From the tribe's woven scrolls and gather lost spirits scattered throughout the region. Travelers will only be able to uncover the truth if they collect all the clues. But don't worry, is it Hania that kind of looks like Shenha? I guess you're right. Yeah. Primo jabs. Ooh, I really like the vibe of this event. It looks oh, like cool UI. is performing some kind of ritual. It's also mysterious. Also, hey, Genshin, when's Sila coming out? I, I watch tough, her the most. <laughs> it's granny to the rescue. <laughs> Next to Maoika, I, I really, really, really want Sila. Sila and Auroran have some really fun dialogue in this event. <laughs> yeah. I'm always grabbing the popcorn whenever these two interact. They're practically oh, a two person yeah. show. And speaking of fun, let's get into the event gameplay. <laughs> First up, I'm is playing the this event for Lost for this alone. Mini game. Travelers will have to work together to herd the scattered roaming spirits into specific zones. Oh my god, it's like freaking Pay attention to what, the that, what that one on mode was. Actually, yeah, did they do this before for, example, for, for Genshin? Can jump on stone slabs that appear on the field. These slabs will break open and release even more spirits. Oh god, it's, it's like a herding events, yeah. The game. You can track down spirits more effectively if you pay attention to the direction of the storms. 
In Evil Banisher, travelers will need to have combat the events, right teams obviously. To the objectives. Completing all of the objectives will award you the Banishing Aura, which allows you. Yeah, to that, deal that UI kind of gives me like unreconciled stars, like kind of vibe. Paint really matches the Whoa. Masters of the Night Winds aesthetic. It's super oh, just cool. instantly delete yeah. opponents. And so does the Spirit Loom in restoring fragmented records. Oh, a literal See, puzzle. Lally okay. Will use her powers to reveal special fragments. Travelers will need to piece these fragments together and assemble them on a woven scroll. Hmm. Make sure that you pay attention to the order and positions of the fragments. Oh, there's something else that we should mention. Travelers can obtain a, a new free sword. sword by completing Did you show this what it event. does? The design definitely fits the Masters of the Nightwind. Yeah. It looks like some kind of ceremonial artifact. Too bad, <laughs> too bad totally Aurora can actually use oh, it. And this event will I'm guessing maybe Silali might be a sword user then. Natland's secrets. For example, this quest will reveal new clues about a mystery. Although she kind of gives me catalyst vibes, I don't know. Place, the Mare Javari. Wow, we've been hearing about this place since Mondstadt. Duh. It'll be nice to get some new information. Mm -hmm. Mare Javari really lore? Note, Yo. The Adventures Guild has prepared the... a new trial for its members. Active Adventures. Wow, official Catherine are never thought we see today. The including the Traveler. Travelers will need to complete various challenges with designated characters. Oh, these and ones. Fully leverage their skills the ones that, like the character specific ones. These I ones know are you're always up fun. The challenge, travelers. Especially Good the luck. Gene one. In Mondstadt related news, the Knights of Favonius are conducting a war game to improve security tactics in the region. And oh, wait, is it the. These tactics than the honorary oh, wait, no, it's a, something different. Be sure to pay close attention to the game since the format has changed to this time. Wait, no, it is. Travelers will need to select the It's the one where you yeah, yeah, use your own monsters against other ones. Against the opposing formation. Once the lineup is set, the monsters will fight automatically. Available combat units and stratagems are completely random. You know, just to build some unpredictability. Oh, great. Way to pick the slides who can't even hit the guys in the air. This <laughs> increases as the war game progresses. Even more elite Wait, monsters playing against will be available Al for travelers to use. It's a volatile environment. So do your best to win as well, many rounds the one as to play possible, this shit. <laughs> earn war game medals, and collect the rewards. All right, it doesn't seem like a gaming talk to me. rolling in this next event. We actually have a demo, so please take a look. Yep. Oh, looks like they're selecting tactics. Double damage? That sounds powerful. Oh, TCG. Okay, stuff. Oh, it's automated. Yeah, I haven't played TCG cool. in a good the while. The reaction effects are completely different. I haven't gotten, like, Farina's card yet. This new heated battle mode is called Automatic Artistry. Powerful support oh, this, cards have been added for nearly this every auto battle TCG reaction. now? Choose cards that align with your strategies to trigger powerful elemental reactions. Wait, the since when can you have four characters? Play. What? <laughs> In addition, the overall gameplay is very laid back. I guess this must be new to characters this update, will then. automatically duel each other, and skill animations are now shorter in length. Wow, it's like we got a whole new Genius uh -huh. Invocation TCG after coming yeah, back from Yeah, I need to play Batman. some TCG again. Talk about Whiplash. <laughs> That's right. Even if you've never played Genius Invocation before, I really recommend yeah, all about checking it seems out this sick, new gameplay lie. mode in version 5.2. The new version will also bring a few updates oh, Rosaria, to the Genius Invocation TCG. Siege Ween and the uh, Giant Rift Town playing card, games? card now. Well, don't worry about that. Our next event will give travelers the opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. In Claw Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some oh, wait, adopted is this... animals. Travelers will oh, be able to see events. the animal's okay. point of view by using a special tool. Once you've managed to deduce their location, you'll be able to track them down. Once the animals are safe and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. I feel like Auroran would really shine what in the this event. He's huh? definitely an animal lover. <laughs> Is that a Hu Tao <laughs> I can see that. fucking plushie? I'm sure that he would have a chance to meet animals from other nations. Yeah. Why is that in the game now? Finally, the also, can I keep one? The event will return in version 5.2. If you need Mora or character EXP materials, then hey, keep an this eye again. Out. All right, let's dive into some updates and game optimizations. First oh, up is changes, the change okay. to the Imaginarium Theater. Oh, another Previously, theater update, okay. Travelers will be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge and have to reopen the Fantasia Tome to continue. Oh, so can you travelers just like continue from after you complete the stage? Their experience. So this will no longer be the case in version Nice, good change. Two. Now, after finishing a battle, all you need to do is click next to act if you want to keep fighting. 
Nice. You're changing my opinion. Travelers okay. Can now enjoy the thrill of combat without any interruption. Now Hu Tao becoming Sparkle. All the generous travelers who like. <laughs> yeah, Hu Tao's gonna create her own Fubo plushies. The supporting cast the record has been added in the new update. Yep. You can now check which friends have borrowed your supports by looking at the supporting cast screen. Cool. Huh. It'll be nice to know that our supports are nice. helping people out. Yep. Oh, and the party configuration mechanic has also been optimized. Besides the elemental filtering, the Imaginarium Theater will now feature recommended row icons, elemental statistics, and markers for the main types of enemies. Oh, that is so helpful. That's kind of nice for I'll newbies. I'll occasionally put together a random team if I've just started experimenting with some characters, but this information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. These markers will display key information on how to counter enemies, but in a much more prominent this is position. Like very Hopefully, useful information. This change will make it easier for travelers to form. Nice, the best good change. Yes. Honestly, now we can directly Not the changes see which I would have elements were best for, against but specific so good enemies. Changes. That's definitely going to save some time. For sure, and we can expect even more optimizations in the future as travelers continue to provide valuable feedback about their experiences. Okay. Let's introduce the other system optimizations coming in version 5.2. You can outsort 5-star artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtained them, from the most oh, recent nice. to the oldest. Second, so can the get animations my shit for crafting materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter in length. Oh, that's good. That's really nice. That's actually the really, really a nice change. The dev team designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have to watch them over and over again. There will also be several optimizations for the Serena teapot. The seed dispensary can now hold more of every type of seed. Oh, You'll nice. be able to purchase wood at the Realm Depot. Oh, I can buy wood directly. For That's Realm good. Currency. In addition, Although the cooldown be for the boom of the that. Elder Tree will be reduced to five seconds. This way, it will be easier for travelers to collect wood. Awesome. I've been. Oh yeah, I forgot that gadget was a cool thing. Honestly, the auto collecting teapot, wood thing. I'm always short on wood. So this should be really helpful. I honestly forgot that nice. gadget was even I'm a so thing. I'm so excited for you. Oh, and optimizations have been made to artifact locking. The updated lock assistance interface will allow you to configure lock settings with a single click. Okay. Just hit use recommended settings and you're set. The recommended set lock plans will even update automatically based on popular in-game configurations. Of course, if you have your own ideas in mind, then you can hmm. always disable the recommended plans to configure custom ones instead. The update also allows you oh, to so just auto locks lock anyone with like the stats you want. Based on the That's kind of nice. Lock plan so I know which ones you just, like, just fucking discard this immediately. This will make it much faster to organize your inventory. In addition, a shortcut that button is that navigates a good change, to the actually, lock assistance interface will be added to the artifact domain Yeah, I wish we could like label the bad artifacts. And the artifact acquisition screen. Hopefully they add this that soon. This should make it easier for travelers to configure their locking rules whenever they want. A star feature will also be added next to the lock yes, button. Yes, right now it just seems like it just artifact. auto locks the ones out of like good stats or the stats you to want. Mark their favorite artifacts and filter by stars to quickly track them down. Finally, That's pretty treasure good, compasses will now be able to locate even more treasure locations, including Wait, really? sealies and time trial challenges. Oh, good! A quick swap feature will also be added for treasure compasses. That's really and good. I always stones. hated that the compasses could not Enabling track the sealies and the time trials for some reason. Very good. Devices across regions. The feature will automatically switch to the compass or stone that corresponds to your location in the game. Oh, that's also, actually a nice change sure too, to honestly. Yeah, good, good QL changes, I'm not gonna lie. Optimizations. The good All ones. All right, that was a lot of info, so this seems like a good time for our second break. It's time for the third redemption code. Oh, and I'll just go ahead and type it out. Yeah, those are really pretty good changes. Yeah, I always hated that the compasses could not like locate the sealies or the uh, time trials. And then you have to resort to like opening up like your Google or something to uh to open up the interactive map to like search for that one Sealy you're missing. Yeah, no more 99 regions, hopefully, from here on out <laughs> with that around. Alright, but last redemption code, folks. Claim all three codes before they expire within 12 hours. You're gonna need those funds if you hit the one Aurora and Chaska. Or hopefully see Lali. <laughs> I'm hoping she's gonna be dream rocket for 5.3. Although it's probably gonna be my week, uh, if I'm not if I'm not gonna mistaken. They usually save the Archon for like the very end of the Archon quests. So yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be surprising to me if they, they put in both Sea Lolly and Mauika. 
Also, yeah, I've had her heard as well that, yeah, reactions are getting buffed Welcome as well. Back, Not sure if they'll mention what it here, we but... Have on the agenda, Gabe? We have some very uh, exciting news to will. share. After the version update on November 20th, travelers will be able to play Genshin Impact on the Xbox Series X Oh, yeah, X that's coming, yeah. S. Log into Genshin Impact on Xbox Series X We got Genshin X and Xbox for Genshin and Nintendo Switch, to folks. receive the Wind Glider <laughs> Wings of Fate's Course Intertwined. Additionally, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members can play Genshin Impact via cloud gaming. They'll also find extra rewards in their in-game mailbox. Awesome. All right. Yeah, that Genshin's never coming to Switch, let's be honest. That means that we've reached the, the end too, of the special program. Too, uh, is there anything that you want to, to say Genshin. before we go, Kai? Yes, I'm really looking forward to all the new characters. Chaska and her weapons seem really incredible. I'd love to see how her travel chronicle unfolds because she has such an amazing personality. Yeah, they didn't mention it, but we're also and getting Oron reaction like buffs, I believe. Character. Or like Shatter, is Overload, Electro Charge, and everything. What about you, Gabe? <laughs> yeah, I'm just so excited for players to experience more of the Natland storyline. And we have so much to explore this time. I mean, two new tribes and a new area as well. And... One thing I've always loved about Genshin Impact is how it's multi-platform. Like, I'm always logging in on different devices depending on where I am, so it's just exciting to see another platform become available for everyone. It's exciting. And um, You know, yeah, I think we're forgetting on one platform. Note, nah! I hope you have fun with <laughs> the new version, We're not forgetting anything. Travelers. If you forgot it, Bye. it probably wasn't important. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, so sorry, Switch players. <laughs> You're never getting a uh, Genshin on, on Switch, like, ever. But hey, that was a good program, though. That was a very, very good special program. Man. Yeah, all the events look really, really fun. And also, the QL changes are... Yeah, seems like they could be helpful for, like, sorting out the artifacts way better. Yeah, this is a very, very uh, good live stream, I gotta say. Aron Hyperbloom? Yeah, I guess maybe Hyperbloom could work, considering it's triggering Electric Charge and, like, Bloom at the same time. Yeah, we'll have to see how that works, like, when, once he does come out. But yeah, very, very good live stream. Yeah, can't wait for the main story as well, because uh, that's going to be interesting that we're just like kind of like tending to the aftermath of the war in uh, 5.2. And uh, it seemingly we won't get the conclusion of the uh, Arkham Quest until like 5.3, uh, which is going to be Act 6. I kind of like that they're taking their time with the Arkham Quest, I'm not going to lie, because sometimes it can feel a bit rushed when like all th the entire story is like done in three updates. But yeah. Not that they're uh, taking it slow this time around. And yeah, we'll be patient until like it end, like yeah, it comes to the very end. Yeah, I, they didn't mention this at all, but we're getting buffs to like the elemental reactions like system. To like specific reactions. Uh, but yes, they're buffing Superconduct to, instead of 0.5, it's now 1.5, which is really fucking good. So Superconduct is like actually somewhat okay now. Uh, Shatter is increased from 1.5 to 3. That is insane, actually. Like, yeah, Shatter is... It's actually seemingly pretty good now, so it's actually maybe kind of worth it to like maybe run EM on like 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 Eula or or just anybody that can do Shatter. That just seems like really really insane. Uh, Electro Charge increased from 1.2 to 2, so that's definitely gonna help out Aurora's uh, damage like quite a lot. And then Overload increased from 2 to 2.75, 2. Uh, 2. Uh, so that's gonna be really good for like yeah the Chevrus Overload teams like for sure like. Yeah, and they, for some reason, they just never mentioned these buffs at all whatsoever. Maybe they thought the community wouldn't be interested in, in this kind of information, but we kind of are. But yeah, expect this these reactions to be buffed in the in 5.2. But yeah, the, this looks like to be an overall really, really good update. All right, but yeah, I wish you guys all the best of luck in pulling for Chaska or Roran if you're planning to pull either of them. And also, I wish you guys luck as well if you're planning to pull Linny, Nuvolet, or Zhongli, because, wow, these banners are absolutely stacked in this update, and uh, I'm definitely going to need a lot of luck to, like, get both her and probably the 5.3 characters, which are probably going to be Maui and probably Lali too. Can't wait for it, honestly. Cannot wait.